With the release of Ramphorhynchus into Path of Titans, it's time we look to the future of the game and predict what the next update could be for the game. Now, remember, this is a prediction video. This does not confirm what the next update will be and when it will release. However, do let me know what your predictions are in the comments down below and we can see who's got it closest. The Lambiosaurus TLC I think will be the main part of the next game update. We just got a new dinosaur released, let's release the remake of a current existing dinosaur into the game and I personally think this could indicate the next update could be closer than we thought. However, there's two caveats here. If we get the update sooner, I feel like it's just a Lambiosaurus TLC update, but if we get it later, I think there'll be more content in it or I'm predicting the next two updates. That being said, Lambiosaurus TLC is a complete revamp of the Lambiosaurus model, with every part of it from its head to toe being revamped, but there's more to it. The abilities of this dinosaur got revamped, it's got new stances, instead of crouching it now goes onto its hind limbs, and it has a whole host of new abilities and a new unique system for its vocal abilities that will further exemplify this dinosaur's gameplay style as a support dinosaur. However, why do I think this will be in the next official update? Well, it's simple. It's currently on the public test branch as fairly complete as well, but there's also a bit more. The game recently released a brand new skin pack, the Springtime Skin Pack, which in the branding for this pack, the Lambiosaurus TLC was the icon for the skin for Lambiosaurus, rather than the old Lambiosaurus which is currently on the live version of the game, which technically would mean that in the shelf life of this skin pack, we would see the Lambiosaurus TLC release, and that will be from now, maybe for a month or two. However, I don't think this will be the only thing in this update. I do think we'll be getting dinosaur updates overall as well. Since the release of Akilobator, there have been large amounts of dinosaur updates brought to the public test branch of the game. These include various combat changes that will make their way into the live branch, and mainly slight tweaks that have been made to various dinosaurs like these ones that were in public test branch update 3256. These were fixed Aspletosaurus's bone snap, Spinosaurus drench blows now does 1.2 instead of 1.1, Allosaurus was missing its fresh blood ability and now it's got that, and Raptor strikes has pounced damage to 1.4 from 1.2 for Deinonychus and Latin Venetrix. But I do think there'll be more to that because, well, there's going to be a whole swathe of fixes as well in general, but I do think maybe if we were to be a bit generous here, we could see the introduction of the new visual effects that's on Albertoceratops and Ceratosaurus. Now, I can see this going one of two ways. I think this could probably go the way of, okay, these visual effects are currently in testing and initial testing phases. They won't come out, and I think they won't come out for a little while, or they're going to be packaged into this update because the developers are fairly confident with them at the moment. Do I think they'll be in this update? I am more 40 60 on this one 40% yes 60% no because that initial testing thing however if they weren't in this update I think they'll be lumped into the next major update so we spoke about new dinosaur updates well new abilities is part of that and I do think new abilities will make their way into the next update or the update after that and well, this is mainly because that we saw several new abilities for both Akilobator, Hatsigoptrix, and probably some other dinosaurs as well in the past, but uh, these are the main two here. We got one for Akilo, three for Hats, and then some updates for Kentrosaurus in the latest PTB update. But I think with the release of Ramphorhynchus, a lot of these Hatsigoptrix abilities seem more likely to happen now. With Akilobator getting an ability that affects booking and Hats getting three abilities, one of which that slows down grabbable opponents makes them do an alert call and finally lowers armor when near a corpse there's a lot of unique abilities here and well that one that makes them do an alert call is very similar to the rat out ability that ramphorinkus has it's likely we could see other abilities come to the game as well that aren't even on the public test branch just yet however i do think these abilities specifically the hatsigoptrix and akilobator ones might not release if the update releases very soon like if this update releases this month I don't think these will come to the update. And I'll tell you why. They're not fully ready yet. Look at the icons for these abilities and look at the animations and calls for these abilities. They're the exact same as other calls and abilities in the game and the icons are likely 
like placeholders. Once those are fully updated and once these are properly working, they'll be ready to go into the next update. And it really depends on when this update will release. If it's coming before the end of the month, then of course it's not gonna be in that update. So finally, what's the last thing though that I'm less confident in, but I think is due a release soon? Well, let's talk about that. Now, I think that whether it's the next update or the next couple updates in the future, we will see the release of the deathmatch game mode and maybe, just maybe, some of the other two game modes as well that are due to release. Deathmatch game mode was recently in testing once again on the public test branch shortly after the Lambiosaurus TLC went live and this lasted roughly two hours from about 8 a.m. GMT to about 10.30 a.m. GMT. These game modes have ultimately been tested quite a bit in the past, however there was some time where they just weren't tested at all but now they're back. Does that mean they've been improved and worked on as the time has gone? Who knows, maybe they've been refined. I wasn't actually there to play the test because I was suffering probably the worst hangover I've suffered this year. I was rotting away in bed. That being said, what do you think here? Do you think game modes are imminent? Did you get to test the deathmatch game mode when it went live on the public test branch the other day? What did you think? Was it different or was it just the same? As we went down this list, I started with what I was most confident in with the Lambio TLC and we ended up with what I was least confident in. If anything, I think game modes have a 20-25% chance of being in the next update. It's a very, very low chance in my eyes, but I think if we're talking the next updates, it's going to work like this. Lambiosaurus TLC is definitely going to be in the next update depending on how complete it is. And I think it's fairly complete at the moment, bar one or two abilities not being properly finished yet. I think over time, we're probably going to see this be the next big focus. That being said, it could release, you know, this month, or maybe if it does, that's alongside a new dev blog, or maybe at the start of next month, or halfway through next month, a month from now, pretty much. I think then a bigger update could release next quarter, which starts next month anyways. But I think that update will feature game modes and more combat changes to the game. If Lambiosaurus doesn't come out in the imminent future, I think that will be pushed into that big update. And then boom, that's what the next update could be in my eyes. That's my prediction. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. What do you predict? I know when I do these predictions, I'm normally wrong. But that's why predictions are there. Because it's a bit of fun that you can predict things with. So let me know in the comments down below. What are your predictions what do you think will be in the next update and you know tell me what you're most confident in are you confident with lambio abilities all that anyways guys hope you enjoyed if you want to check out another video check out the ramphorhynchus showcase which is on the screen now other than that i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one have a great day peace